Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, mwah, mwah, kisses. My name is Rosie for short. And today I'm going to be sharing my favorites of May. I have a lot of beauty favorites today that are natural. And I really love everything that I'm going to share. And I'm going to be filming in the bathroom because my boyfriend George is not feeling well today. He is a little bit sick and sometimes he has to make phone calls. He's working from home. So I had to close the bedroom door, the bathroom door, and I'm here and it's kind of hot. But I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. So without talking anymore, let's begin. Okay, one of my first favorites is this vitamin C serum. My sister introduced me to this a while back and ever since I wanted to get one. The one I tried from her, I don't believe it was cruelty free, but I made sure that the one that I would buy was cruelty free. So that's why I got this one. And I love that it comes in a glass bottle, which is so good for beauty products because that way they preserve better. And you just twist the cap and it has this sort of like a syringe. The only problem is that it got broken from the tip. So I'm being really careful not to even touch that part with my skin. But I just grab it and I apply it on my skin without even touching the tip. Um, but I got this to prevent wrinkle lines so even if we are young it's a good idea to prevent them from a young age so i really like that and i like that it also helps to reduce my scarring to help them fade away so that's why i love it um the only thing is that you should really hydrate your skin really well before you use this i tend to use jojoba oil or the next oil that I'm going to show you. That way I don't experience dryness. If I just use this, my skin tends to dry a little bit, but if you just hydrate it, you won't have any problem. What I do, I apply oil, then I use this, and then I do my regular makeup routine. I always do different things every morning, but this is what I tend to do when I use this vitamin C. I love it and I like that my acne scars are fading away. Okay, the next oil that I want to share is this rose hip oil. I got this for two reasons. One, because I read the reviews. I love that a lot of people are saying that it does fade away scars. And the other reason is because it leaves the skin really soft. So I started using this on my face, also on my hands. My hands were so dry, both of them, which is strange because we are in the middle of really hot weather. So I don't know why my hands got dry. My skin was scaly and I didn't like that. So I started applying this and my skin now is like baby soft. I love the texture of my skin. And I have also been applying this on Little Lynn. She has some big scars on her tummy, her back, her legs. So I have been applying this to help them fade away. And like I said before, for my face, because I really want to get rid of the scars. And I love that it leaves my skin really soft. And I have been using it with the vitamin C. So I use a combination of both. And I love that it's natural. Again, this comes in a glass bottle as well. It came with this little cap and also this one. I like to use this one because I like to have it ready for every time I use it. Um, the only thing is that it won't really close that well. It's like it's always open and you just keep twisting and it never ends. So that's the only downside to this. But other than that, I love it that it's natural, organic. And by the way, everything that I mentioned, it's mostly from Amazon. I buy a lot from there. So in case you're interested, it's going to be in the description box. My next favorite is from Not Your Mother's. And I spoke about this brand about hair care last month. But this time I have the conditioner. I'm trying to buy more of their products because it's cruelty free. And for about a year I didn't use a conditioner. And I felt like my hair was kind of dry because of that. It's just something that i stopped using from my routine so i just kind of forgot about it but this time i wanted to try something from this brand and i saw this one with good reviews it says that it helps hair to smooth and silken and that's what i was looking for something that will make my hair 
soft and so from the first day I used this I was so impressed by the results by the next day when my hair was dry I told George I told him look touch my hair and it was so soft and he, he was even impressed by how soft my hair felt and so that's why I love it I use it like every two or three days when I shampoo my hair so this is something that I use after the shampoo that I shared last month and I love it and I highly highly recommend it okay the next item from not your mother's is the heat protectant again this is something really new to me I this is the first time that I'm actually trying their products and this is infused with sunflower vitamins A and E and every time that I'm going to straighten my hair or use the blow dryer I spray this on then I just brush my hair so that the product will distribute on my hair and it dries quickly and then I just straighten my hair and I feel my hair is so soft and I feel that the straightening even lasts longer I'm not sure if it's the conditioner or this because I started using both about the same time but I don't know if it's the combination of both but they're making my hair really soft to me my hair feels healthy and I love the feeling of just even touching my hair <laughs> okay next I have some natural perfumes because I only use these type of perfumes um, what happened was I had a small bottle of the Kumba perfume I dropped it, it shattered, it was a glass bottle so George was sweet enough that that same afternoon or maybe the next day he went to Whole Foods and he bought these for me, Pacifica and so he surprised me with these perfumes he got one in lemon and rose I love everything with rose and this is the one that I have been using Little Lynn uses lemon so I just apply it on my wrist behind my ears and I love it I love how it smells and I just love the fact that they tend to be more natural than the conventional perfume so I always recommend these type of perfumes love it <laughs> okay the next thing that I want to share is my new iPhone case and I like that it looks so simple yet so modern it's kind of like marble and I got this from eBay um, the one that I used to have which I shared in my what's in my bag video I had that one for so long but the design that it had on the back was fading away so it was time for a new one and it fell and it kind of shattered here on the corner I don't know if you can see it so I just wanted something new and I found this one and I love the texture of this material it's like soft but also protects it well from the corners I also have another um, layer of protection that's transparent it's kind of like a sticker that you apply on top of the screen and so I just want to protect my phone really well in case it falls I don't want it to get shattered so that's why I have protection on the back and on the front I know you can get those thick iPhone cases but to be honest that's not my style so I just wanted something simple something basic but that will protect my phone so I like it and it's really cute <laughs> and the last thing that I want to share it's an app that I recently got on my phone and it's called happy cow so basically if you're vegetarian or vegan maybe you already know about this but if you want to eat more healthy or if you're transitioning to this lifestyle I recommend it and basically it has a few sections it has vegan vegetarian veggie options and stores and what it will do it will let you know places that are nearby to eat or if it's a farmer's market or a bakery whatever you're looking for and this is how we have been going to eat to other places and try new foods um, the only thing it has a small fee to buy it it's $3.99 or it's about three or four dollars but to me it's been worth it I use it often and it's something that you can use when you're traveling as well so i like it and i recommend it to you guys so that's it you guys for my main favorites i hope you really liked it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs 
up you can leave me comments to say hi or tell me one of your favorites of me so everything that i mentioned is going to be in the description box and i always do a blog post with most of my videos so you get to see there are a little bit more pictures and details that maybe i forgot to mention here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video kisses bye Thank you.